So, evidently, 90% of Tumblr users are little bitches. Um, I posted a post. Let me dig it up here, because at this point, I probably fucking lost it on my dashboard. And yes, the sun is doing incredible things to my white-ass complexion. Bring on the hate, because, yeah, this is how white I really am. I'm like Zeus's stepdaughter or some shit, I don't even understand. But, um, let's look up the post, shall we? I can find it. Come on. Because I know a lot of people have seen this post. And I've had a lot of people comment on it as well. Some comments were called for, or they were answers to my actual question, or uh, then there were some that simply want to bitch about everything. And you know who you are. I just read the snippet of a comment and replied to it. It says, yeah, of course, other people of color can discriminate against and be racist to black people, but they learned it from white people. It's not all of it, but that's fucking stupid. You don't learn things from an entire other race of people. Put it this way. 90% of the people that are in gangs and... You know, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm accurate with the statement. If I'm not, I apologize. That are in all people of color gangs, live in all people of color areas. Therefore, their behavior is not influenced at all by white people, even though, you know, white is tan, tan is a color, everyone's a person of color, get over the term. But, you know, if everyone they live, work, hang out with is the same color they are, or the same, you know, if no one is white, then how did a white person influence that behavior at all? And no, I'm not making a blanket statement. I realize that person of color includes Latinos, African Americans, um, Asians, a lot of different things. But we know on Tumblr that the person of color thing does not include white people, so what I'm saying to you is, what I'm, this is what I'm talking about when I made that statement. Uh, that most of those neighborhoods do not have very many white people living in them, if any at all, because the hostility a white person would get when they walk into that neighborhood alone. It'd be like a real-life Tumblr. So they won't live there. Not because they're racist, but because they would be afraid on a daily basis of having hate crimes committed against them. And yes, it happens to white people. You know, I've seen, I've seen black people on Tumblr, and I'm assuming they're black. I know that's wrong, but it's a person of color. A person of color on Tumblr posts about how if they're in, or what was the statement that said, does anything make you more uncomfortable than a loud group of white men? Only they use the uh, white cis straight men. And then there were people commenting and following suit saying that they walked to the other side of the sidewalk. Or, now, I don't know about you, but a large group of any kind of person that's being very loud and seems threatening when I'm by myself, yeah, I'm going to fucking avoid them. White, black, Mexican, whatever. I, I'm going to avoid them. Not because I'm racist, not because I hate them, but because there's more of them than me, and if they do decide to do something violent in my direction, how am I going to avoid it other than avoiding it ahead of time? See, everyone perceives that kind of shit as racism, but stop and think, to the person who posted that, if you're watching this video right now, which I highly doubt you are, since I'm white, cis, whatever. Um, if the group of people were the same skin color as you and being loud, and there were five or six of them, if they were 
um, let me think, Latino, and there were five or six of them. If they were any other race, even, even, you know, if they weren't white, none of them were white, and they were being loud, and they were walking in the direction you were, would you still avoid them? Because I would, even if they were white. Mostly because I don't like a lot of people in my area. I don't like, you know, I'm a touch agoraphobic. Um, and I have personal space that I don't like being invaded. So, and also, the other sidewalk probably has a lot of room on it. If there's like five people, you know, and there's one of you, you probably want more room. So you probably want to go to the other side of the sidewalk. But, you know, the other side of the street. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say about race. There's a lot of things I could say about racism. There's a lot of things that I could say that I won't say, because if I do say, I will be the racist party. That I will be wrong. That because I am white and cis, I automatically have no right to comment on anything because I am privileged. And I can honestly say the difficulty I had finding a job and the job I now work at, I'm not privileged at all. The bottom line is people need to stop picking on each other, but also people need to stop bitching about every little fucking thing someone else says. And stop acting like everything someone says, because they are a certain race, because they are a certain weight, height, whatever. It's not directed at you. Just because I'm white doesn't mean that if you're a person of color, which you don't consider white people a person of color, um, that I am directing it directly at you. It's such horseshit. And I'm not even angry. I'm just saying. I just honestly believe it's fucking horseshit. But I was looking for a post because I want to read my post. I want to read the replies to it. Um. Hmm. See, I posted... See, this is so... I'm looking it up on my iPod, and really, there's a lot of people that have replied to it, and I didn't even realize. See... I said, so I'm sure someone will see this as racist, but why is it that a white person listening to rap or twerking or dressing a certain way is automatic cultural appropriation? However, a black woman denying her natural hair, and I don't mean, you know, no, I understand that I'm enveloping the very rare occasion that a woman of color has straight, you know, soft natural hair like that. But I'm talking about the ones who don't. I'm not making fun of that kind of hair. All I asked was them wearing a weave or a wig or hiding it all the time and using hair that's technically from another culture, even if it is another black culture. Ergo, the ones who... Now, I didn't word it the best, I'll admit that. That's a person of... You know, if there's a person of color, a ethnicity that is a person of color, like the same color they are, but they have smoother, softer hair, and that's the hair they're going for, why aren't they accused of cultural appropriation? Because the only reason they're wearing that hair is because it looks nicer, and it feels nicer. It's not part of their culture. Did they do the research to find out exactly why the person's DNA produces hair like that, rather than hair like their own? Can they quote articles of scientific evidence on that hair? Because that's what, you know, this is this is the scrutiny that white people are under any time they make a post like this. And this girl posted uh, links to me, which I'll admit, at first, you know, I didn't realize they were links for one. I thought they were just underlined. And I said, which my comment was deleted and not by me, so I don't know what... 
Oh, I found a way to do it. But not, I said, I'm, so I'm sure someone will see this as racist, but why is it that a white person listening to rap twerking? Or so and so is cultural appropriation. And a black woman denying her natural hair and always wearing a weave wig and wearing soft white Asian or another ethnicity's hair is not cultural appropriation. I'm not intending to start anything, but it seems like anything whites say or do is appropriation or racist. Why? And this girl, uh, her URL is born a bitch all the days and nights. She was because black people have been forced for centuries to change their hair because white people made laws against their natural hair. Said their hair was unprofessional. Made rules against natural black hair. Fired for their natural hair. Threatened with expulsion for their natural hair. White people. Generalization. You're acting as if I fucking did it. White people do a lot of shit that is cultural appropriation, appropriative and racist. That's why they get called out on it. For the record, though, listening to rap isn't appropriation, but it doesn't make you magically not racist. I said, I'm sorry, but can you come up with a reason that doesn't involve blaming white people for every fucking problem in society? I'm sorry, I'm just sick, so sick of people hearing white people or white person running off at the mouth and keyboard about shit that happened a good century ago. Believe it or not, white people don't cause every problem. Start every disease, war, famine, and have our... We have our bad points, but fuck. But no, seriously, most whites who do those things just think that America is a blended culture society, and they don't think of it as stealing. They feel like it's sharing from one culture to another. I feel that black women are made to feel uncomfortable about their natural hair for other reasons, mostly media and beauty propaganda. Hey, I'm a white chick, but I'm 5'9 and 289 pounds, last time I checked. But by all means, I'm not media standard of beauty queen, but I think I'm flawless. I feel like you have to know within yourself that you're the shit, and ignore everyone else. I mean, the reason I'm saying this... And I'm saying it's the media is because, look, speaking of flawless, one of the world's, world's biggest black female entertainers, Beyonce, is that her real hair? Natural? And she's an influence. It's not all Whitey's fault. That's all I'm saying. And I wasn't blaming Beyonce for anything, and I and this person's next load of horse shit in my direction should not be surprising. I gotta find it, because Tumblr fucking hid it from me. See, I'm trying to find See, she posted something else that basically said that I apparently said that because Beyonce is famous black people are out of the woods as far as racism goes. I never said that. I read what I just wrote. Not what I said. And someone said, which I never got to respond to this person because I was too busy, you know, wondering what the fuck this bitch was going on about. And she goes, also, it's not like there aren't black people with naturally straight hair. It's not like white people own straight hair. It's not a part of their culture in the same way that dreads are part of ours. Uh, one, whites aren't the only one with straight hair. Gotcha! And two, I realized that. And I just then I corrected myself many times in this video about it, alright. Um but she says that essentially that I apparently said that I love how I can't click on the notes now because my fucking iPod being retarded. If you basically, so she said, she says, I'm sorry, can you come up with a reason that isn't ignoring all the facts in front of you? If you had actually clicked the links you were provided with, you would know that aside from making the laws, the laws example, all the other five examples happened within the last ten years, not a good century ago. White people fucking love to pretend that black people and people of color in general aren't being oppressed. And that we're talking about the past. It is happening now. The point where the fucking Daily Show made a segment on one of the examples I showed with you. The melting pot theory has already been discarded. And is no longer taught because of its inherent racism. And sharing. Well, sharing is something that is given willingly. When white people decided to all by themselves to misuse the traditions of other cultures, it is not sharing unless you have no, cult no clue what sharing means. 
Me personally, not believing in the impossible body standards set by society, well, awesome. Doesn't magically erase the very real way anti-black racism and white supremacy exist in the U.S. and the world. You'd have to be ignorant on purpose to ignore it. Er... It definitely sounds like you are. Thanks for calling me stupid, bitch. If you want to live in La La Land, where Beyonce being famous magically erases all the ways white people to this day limit the right and vote to vote of people of color, make it hard for people of color to rent a house or apply for a home loan, dehumanize black people in such a way that doctors think they experience less pain than other people, prevent them from getting a job, keep black people from being able to move into certain neighborhoods, prevent people of color from receiving an education, make them more likely to be unlawfully searched by police, and create the uh, economic incentive for grocery stores not to open in people of color neighborhoods. Did I just say that a grocery store not opening in your neighborhood might make you angry? But if there's a large gang population, a high likelihood of the store being robbed, and I mean any store, not even a grocery store, then they have every right not to open in that neighborhood. And if you disagree with that solely because it sounds a little racist, even though what I said was not racist at all, I said gang members. I didn't say, you know, black gang members. But, you know, that's what she literally thinks I said. I said that, here's what she thinks I said. I didn't fucking click on that. God damn it. She thinks that I said, if you want to live in a little land, where Beyonce being famous magically erases all the ways white people to this day limit the, you know, oppressed black people. I never said that. Bitch, I never fucking said it. Learn to read, goddamn. And I said, I didn't say that Beyonce being famous erased this fact, but it's not only white people that oppress people of color or commit violence against them, it's other people of color. I think all humans just need to stop picking something about every person they meet. I didn't hit reblog either. Picking something about every person they meet and go, you know what, I'm going to hate them now. And I mean everyone. It's not right. I'm trying to find where she probably responded, making more of an ass of herself. Some of you are, you know, looking at this post as I'm reading it, because you're on Tumblr and you follow me, and I, you know, thanks for that. Born a bitch. This is all, all the days and nights. She posted it again. I love how long this is taking to get to the point. She goes, you're still assuming that ethnic discrimination was the same all over the world before the invention of the racial hierarchy, which I don't know if she's responding to me or somebody else that at this point had blogged it and said something. But, uh, here she's, she's really trying not to say that it's all white people's fault that racism exists in the first place. I can fucking tell. I'm not stupid. Uh, so let me just read this the way it's meant to sound. You're still assuming that ethnic discrimination was the same all over the world before white people invented it. And it's hierarchy. Which is not the case. It was the invention of the whites. And it's worldwide level impl implementation and the replacement of incorporation of it into um, local or regional justifications combined, which make it theoretically and practically different. And I'm thinking she's not responding to me, because someone must have said something about her, their friend. Uh, you know... And I don't know what they said, because I have not seen that comment yet. But she said, and, you know, this person responds to her going, On and on and on and on. She goes, at no point did I mention discriminatory terms, only different conceptions of race and gender and how it affects how the discrimination based on them works. So where is that even coming from? And this person quotes her, at no point in that response did I mention discriminatory terms. It's in the title of your blog. Your entire blog is dedicated to a single purpose, unless the actions of your blog are under the banner of a racial slur. What they think is irrelevant. And she was talking about this person's friend. So she quotes him again. 
but they think is irrelevant and no way this proves it discredits what I am repeating from actual reliable sources while well, you're policing behavior that is not affecting you. I don't use racial slurs myself, but if I did, I would not do so in the presence of someone who told me it made them uncomfortable, provided it is reasonable that it makes them uncomfortable. If I was Buddhist, I could accept other Buddhists, but myself and myself to follow certain guidelines, but I could not push my agenda on others. It was the first thing one learns in philosophy class. There's a dog beside me, and she's trying to kick me in the ribs. Truth is subjective. You can hold yourself to a certain standard, but if there is no tangible harm caused by another person's refusal to follow the standard, it's not about feelings, as you yourself have said, and it's pretty fucking arrogant to declare that it is only the feelings of a particular group that matter. Uh, ding, 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 racism! You have no grounds to push those standards on said person. Now, I'm gonna stop there. What she says is that it's not about feelings, but then she considers only one group's feelings, which is the group that she supports. Uh, it probably people of color that don't, don't include white people. But I've quoted racism in a lot of, you know... I'm sorry, Raymond. I'm sorry! I didn't realize I was this. I almost pushed my boyfriend off the bed. <laughs> but... What was I saying? But this person commenting on my status, not my status, but my post, probably considers the feelings of those people of color that she does not, you know, you know, those people. Fuck if I have feelings, you know, right? Not like I'm human. No, I'm a fucking gargoyle and I turn to stone every goddamn night. Fuck. And I'm not even mad, I'm just being very sarcastic because I know that if that person sees this video, it'll piss them off even more. Because I'm not mad like they are. They're angry about everything. They're so angry, so mad because of what text says. And if you read something that someone says, they could be trolling you. Entirely. So if you get mad about it, you don't know if you're legitimately angry or not. So when you find out that they're a troll, I'm not saying I am. But, to this person, if someone's ever done that to you, or if they ever do, how are you going to know if you're legitimately mad at that person anymore or not? So many people on Tumblr just make me so glad that Tumblr isn't an actual place. Doodles.